All right, so this morning I am working on my whole solar panel setup. And uh, yeah, I got it pretty much all hooked up. I don't really like the way that, like with the clips and everything, I'd like something more permanent, like with uh, battery post uh, screws. So they're a lot more permanent and a whole lot more secure. This thing almost looks like a fire hazard. But yeah. So I think what I'll do is maybe I would like to set up a workbench here, maybe like in the corner or something on both walls. I don't know. But I might put this lower on the ground or something. You guys saw that I put the wires underneath the cabin. Uh, that was a pretty good challenge. I'm already pretty claustrophobic. So being underneath the cabin, like the, with it pressing up against you was terrible. But I got it done. I passed the wires underneath the cabin. Uh, that's why I left so so well such a like a long length of wire when I I wired up the whole solar panel because I knew that I wanted a workshop in the back and that the batteries were going to go in there so also why I wanted to do this uh, it, it's pretty annoying when I, I try filming or like people have mentioned in the comments like what's the, what's the humming sound like right now I won't do it but the because there's nothing plugged in it. But the inverter is like a cheap $40 Amazon inverter. It's pretty crappy, so it, it pretty much uses up more electricity than it, than it puts out. So the, the fan that turns on inside is also very loud. It's something like a quiet, noiseless one that are like thousands and thousands of dollars. I just like this is good enough for what I do here. So I guess that's why I just bought this little cheap one. It's it's good enough. I only have one string of lights and you know if I want there's like two USB USB plugs on here and uh, two uh, AC plugs for 110 so it's it's good enough. Uh, in the future I might just bring another battery if I like find one for cheaper or something. Even if they're not brand new I really don't care they'll do the job just fine. The solar panels will keep them nice and charged. But yeah uh, so maybe another battery just so I have a bit more power. I think that's about it. So for now, all I need to complete uh, the whole setup is to drill a hole in my chinking and uh, pass an extension cord. So what's going to happen is that I'll put plug an extension cord in here at all times, feed it through the cabin, and I'll come, I'll put this on right here, and then the power is always going to be on. So I just plug the extension cord in and I'll be good to go. For now, it says the panel uh, charged the battery fully. That's good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty much a nice little setup. Uh, I think you guys saw last week uh, when we finished the roof. I still need to put the tin on, which is going to wait until this winter. But I would just like to do a door now. It's going to be a big door, so I'll need more planks. I have to find some of those. I'll keep you guys updated. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Set up the power and split a little bit of firewood. Split a couple logs, so that's going to be good for this winter. We'll also have time to dry off. Hopefully, in the upcoming weeks, I'll have time to make the door a little workbench and maybe a few shelves. So I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe.